Our second story out front, getting out the vote. You know, there's just nothing like being an American citizen. You can say what's on your mind and you get to vote. Or do you? Because according to the Census Bureau, 60 million people failed to vote in 2008 because they weren't registered. Some people had moved and were unaware um, or were unaware of the deadline to register because it's quite a bit before the election. They also apparently were quite discouraged by the complex registration procedures. So, because of that, Attorney General Eric Holder has a solution for our voting system. In a speech last night that really largely went unnoticed, he said this, automatically register every eligible voter in America and enable their registration to move when they do. So is this an obvious solution or is this the government going too far? Out front tonight, political analyst Roland Martin and David Frum, former senior advisor to George W. Bush. David, I know you've written extensively about this. On its surface, that just sounds terrific. Just make it easier for every red-blooded American citizen (laughs) to be able to vote. But I know you say that this is kind of just far too small of a solution. Why? Right. America has a uniquely ramshackle voting system. It's sort of injurious to the national pride to hear that Brazil does it better, but Brazil does it better, and so does Mexico. What I, uh, so I'm, what I'm disappointed in from the Attorney General is there are a lot of problems. Uh, and what he's, uh, he's picked one. It's, it's an important problem. It also happens to be a problem, fixing, the fixing of which would benefit his party, uh, because it's it, probably the younger people, the less, uh, the more mobile people who are, would be benefited uh, would tend to vote Democrat, which is fine. Democrat should vote too. But if you're going to fix it, do a real fix. Don't simply introduce something that is advantageous to one party as if it's a complete solution when there are so many problems that need to be fixed together, as was recommended by um, the post uh, recount reform commissions in 2002. Okay, I'm so sorry. Roland, First of all, Ashley, I'm you're not sorry. even going to wait for the question, are you, no, Roland? No, I, I can hear I, I, your I'm outrage. sorry, I can't. I'm trying to figure out. Only Democrats somehow move. Look, this is not a Democrat or Republican thing. I've covered city government. I've covered county government, and I can tell you, as somebody who has sat at the table and watched this nonsense happen, it is ridiculous. The problem in this country is that we have 50 different uh, rules because you, it's done by state. Then once you go in those 50 states, then you have different counties. Part of the problem you have federal elections, congressional races. Races, senatorial races, presidential race. Then, of course, you have your state and local races. This is the start, uh, the start uh, of a starting point, if you will. So, I think if Attorney General Eric Holder, David, had come out with eight or ten different ideas, folks would have been going nuts and saying, "Oh no, that's too much." I think it's a way to begin the process because it is convoluted in some places. Ashley, it's so crazy if you literally move from one apartment right next door to the next one, your, your uh, voter registration is ineligible. That's you know, crazy let, David, let me ask you this, because you, you suggest that, that voter registration is just one little plank in a very big problem, and yet so many people just within hours and the next days after the election suggested that President Obama may have won this election because he had a better ground game. He was able to get out there in the community, register voters, etc. So Eric Holder's solution would theoretically even the playing field for Republicans. That's got to be palatable. Um, no, it, it probably wouldn't, because Republicans do tend to be more registered. Democrats always need a better ground game because their voters, younger, poor, uh, more mobile, um, are more likely to fall off the registration polls. Let me give you a very concrete example of the kind of problem that uh, the Attorney General does not address. In the election of 2000, uh, there was a big mess up in the voting in the city of St. Louis. Um, there were there were lines that went that were not yet discharged um, at the time of that was appointed for the end of the voting. Uh, the local very democratic city, St. Louis, in, in a crucial state, Missouri. Uh, local Democrats went to an elected judge, a political official, and asked that judge to extend voting hours. Uh, in no other democracy in the world does that kind of decision get made by an elected official who comes from one party or the other. Everybody else has some kind of national electoral commission, has nonpartisan officers. Throughout the United States, it's done in a political way. But David, you have to fix all of these problems or da- else, or, and by the way, none of them will work because David, if it is seen to tilt to one side, nothing will happen. The story David, of the past you're compl- 10 years. You're, compl- you're talking about a line. We're talking about just get people to the line. And this is what I'm saying. Again, you're absolutely right. It's a broad issue issue that we have here. Lots of problems, but one of the fundamental problems is when you have different registration dates, when you begin to talk about different criteria in one state compared to the other in terms of what you need. The beginning process is to, first of all, get 
people registered. I think the attorney general is talking about the most basic fundamental issue, and that is affirming the right to vote for every American. What you're talking about is later in the process. Let's just get them registered first. And I have to leave it there, although this conversation certainly uh, there's more to it than that. Um, Roland Martin, David Frum, thank you both. Do appreciate it.